Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Allison, and it's first thing, first period on Friday, August 30th, 2019. That means it's time for first things first on TJTV. I'm John. If you are a Hornet 7 student, be sure to bring your cash and permission slip to school on Tuesday, so you will be guaranteed a spot on our field trip to Sac State. You will take a tour of campus and eat at the all-you-can-eat dining common. Don't miss this experience. TJTV Interactive is helping us stay connected. Let's take a look at some of the people who went to Panda Express Dine Out Day. Pet of the Week is a segment where we show your pets on the show. Our first pet, th pet this week is a Welsh Corgi named Theodore by Ashley Sarabia. Theo is four months old and loves to make silly faces while playing with toys. The second pet of the week is a be beagle named Charlie. Charlie was taken care by Sterling Holmes for this week this summer. He is a very pompous dog and is aware of his purebred status. The last pet of the week is a cat named Akiko, owned by Allison Mendoza. Akiko is very cute and loves to eat food. If you want to see your pet on TJTV, go to TJTV Interactive and upload a picture and description of your pet. Now let's go to Jaya for more information about why Labor Day is important. That means there is no school. Labor Day is on the first Monday of September and celebrates the contributions that American workers have made to benefit our country. The first Labor Day was celebrated on September 5, 1882, and the first country to officially adopt the holiday was Oregon. In the past, people used to work tw 12 hours a day, seven days a week, and these workers did not like, did not like um, their conditions. They held a protest that demanded better work working conditions. Instead of protests, people ha now have picnics to celebrate Labor Day. That's it for me. I'm Jaya. Have a good, have a good three-day weekend. Now back to you, John. Thanks, Jaya. It's time to get to know one of our PE teachers, Mrs. C. Jones. My name is Mrs. Jones. I'm a seventh grade PE teacher. I'm the team leader of the Tiger 7 team. I am married with two dog children named Doug and Joey. I love turtles and I love Hawaii. I don't have a middle name. I can blow bubbles off my tongue and I teach PE, but I'm pretty clumsy. Um, I enjoy scaring people. I like, oh, that's it. Now let's get to know one of our math and bridge teachers, Mrs. Clarine. I'm Mrs. Clarine and I teach bears, math and bridge. Um, something quirky about me is that I'm easily startled. Um, teachers are always coming to my room and scaring me by doing nothing. Um, I also love books where I get to choose my own adventure and one of my favorite animals is definitely the unicorn. Um, I love animals and I have pets at home including a dog named Einstein, a cat named Penelope, and tons of fish, and a cat named Toby. Well it sounds like Mrs. C. Jones needs to go scare Mrs. Clarine. Now it's time to see who's out there. The first teacher I see is Mr. Pesky. I also see Mrs. Dvorak. Miss, Mrs. Rashid, thank, thanks for being out there. I also see Mr. Robuski. Finally, there's Mrs. Albani. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to everyone for being out there. Let's take a look at who made this year's seventh grade volleyball team.
Now let's take a look at who made the 8th grade volleyball team. Congratulations to our 2019-2020 volleyball team. And that wraps it up for today's show. Tune in Tuesday for more stories and information on First, first Things First, first on TJTV. TV. I'm Allison. Remember, there is no school on Monday. And I'm John. Make it your best day yet.